Good morning. It is 11.36 on Sunday the 3rd of November and it's time for today in my boo journal. So how are you? You alright? You good? Is everybody alright? Good, good, glad. Right. So, last night I did my night care. Need to make some tabs at some point. Need, where can I put a to-do list? Unfortunately, I went and stuck tape there. Otherwise, I could use that for a to-do list. That wasn't very good planning. I'm going to run out of room if I put it there because that's not going to last me five minutes. I'm going to have to have a think on that one. Right. Hmm. Okay, so we did that. So I need to know my steps. Didn't do very many yesterday. But, um... You know, I did a wee bit, so that's better than nothing, isn't it? I put the dishwasher on. That's about it. <laughs> oh dear me. Ugh, it's going to tip it down in a minute. Okay, so I coloured in, I posted my cover page and my November monthly spread on to Instagram, which was great. So what I need to do now is um see most of these i can actually color in looking at them because they are ready so my october square tracker is ready my october chore tracker is ready october card of the day is ready October sleep step down okay, so these are all ready to be posted really it's just a question of taking the photos and posting them so what I would do then is for example today it my October square tracker is ready for me to post so I would go through to for example that wake my camera up I put it already in square mode and then it posts to Instagram quite nicely. So then in a minute I can mark that I've actually taken the photograph, which is cool. <laughs> okay, so I didn't have anything to tick off yesterday. So I'm going to change the pen. I need to tidy up this crap everywhere. Right, let's go back to today. I've put on day face cream. And I'm dressed, so. <laughs> All before lunchtime, so I'm not doing too badly. <laughs> it could be one of those days today. Okay, so let's pull a card. Right, let us. Now, I used these two colours last month. Oh, God. So I'm going to pull out. I want something a bit more autumn-y even though I know I've done a celestial type sticker across the top just to match in with the mood really so let's see I've got a nice brown oh a green and I want to get those oracle decks up and running this time so let's have one of those out. oh or maybe that one what colour does that come out oh yes that's nice Right, I've got four colours out. That should do me for now. I've got a load of tasks that I want to get done. So I'm not going to... Um, play with that. Play with them until I'm ready. The Oracle decks are sitting right here next to me. <laughs> okay, so we're on the 3rd of November and I've just flung my lid across the fucking room. I can see it. That is colour 947. That's not going to work because this is just too freaking bulky. So, sorry about the glare from the light. I'm going to have to put a cloth or something down for when I want to do this. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Let's put it up there where you can see her. Okay. I'll start with black, I think. So I've put 
generosity, kindness, willing to help others. Be careful you don't give more than you can afford. Okay, I'm just going to stick that there a sec. Now. <laughs> yes. I oh, weighed Daryl this morning and he was... Far too much. I will get on with um, doing my measurements a bit later on. Okay, so the first was 13,531 steps, 5.48 miles. Yesterday was four six nine six or one point seven six miles. Asham Asham. Okay. Today I have cleaned the loo. I'm not stripping the beds because my back just does not feel up to it. I'll try and get upstairs and clean the bath out. Okay, so I've taken a photo of my October square tracker. So I can now colour that square in. And then once I've posted it, I can colour it in again. If I, if I post it in a minute, I'll colour it in with this pad. If I don't post it until tomorrow, then I'll colour it in with tomorrow's pen. But I will post it in a minute because I want to try and post every day. This is just to give me more of a presence on Instagram. You know? Okay, so I have just about finished the work we have on the scores. I'm just waiting for one lot to come in. I need to seek my planners because I haven't done it for a while. Now, I know that I've got to go with Callie to the vet tomorrow. Uh, I think it was at midday. Sometimes she PMs on Messenger and sometimes she texts. Oh, it's Ice's birthday on Friday. She's gonna be 12. I can't actually put anything in because I haven't set up next week but I can put it in the monthly one because red covers all of the pets in the family I have to write down which pet it is it's going to the vet on Monday I said it's going to 12 <laughs> wow gosh that's gone fast okay so I need to set up next week which I'm going to do in a minute and I'll do that in a separate video just so that it's uh, all there um so let's jump to i haven't done any journaling right what i have done is i've drawn out a grid for this challenge so what i'm gonna do is grab a pen i'm gonna do it sort of a bit like a patchwork and i think i'm gonna paint them just for the fun of it one. So I'll just give that a second to dry. I think I'm going to write down that it's that challenge so that I don't look at it in like, you know, several months time and go, well, what the? You do this challenge. Wow. Yeah. Did they just look like robot turns into a car and the girl robot turns into a play? You're watching Transformers. Yeah. I want two of those Transformers. Dry. So that's that one done. I've done three days there. I need to set up today. And then I also need to look at my junk journal. The ultimate journaling prompt in there in a minute. Right, just tuck 
that back under there keeps it out of my way then otherwise it flops out. i wish i'd done it at the top of the page rather than at the spine because i would have had some page to give it a bit of welly but that was just my fault right okay so but hey i've never done it before so i was quite pleased with what i did do <laughs> I'm trying to be really good and put my pens away as I use them and not dump them on my desk like I normally do because otherwise that's just so much for me to tidy up. Weather is, is can't make its mind up. It's cloudy, sunny, it looks like it's going to piss it down any minute now. So I got asked recently why I use this to draw my little sons in simply because I hate a wonky looking sun. You know, it's just got to look nice, hasn't it? Otherwise, what's the point? If you're not going to make an effort, then don't bother. I, I just, I don't, I'm crap at drawing circles without like sketching it and planning it and spending three hours on trying to get this perfect looking fucking circle. And you know, <clears throat> okay, so a high of 13 and a low of 8. Sunrise was a minute to 7 this morning. That is tragic. And sunset is going to be at 4.37 tonight. <coughs> I'm going to use this pen, not that big chunky one. I'm not as keen on how that looks. I didn't do my usual L, which is usually like more like a capital L, because I would have run out of room. <laughs> there we go right now that gets me up to date with everything except the junk journal challenge which i am going to look at and maybe do something on the next page but i'm just not sure what i'm going to do yet so i'm going to leave that there and um i'll get on with that today so i'll be back tonight i expect or i might not i don't know depends whether i do anything or not doesn't it really if i do something great i'll be back tonight if i don't well thanks very much <laughs> and all that lot <laughs> yeah so take it easy guys and hopefully i will see you tonight if not see you tomorrow welcome back to the evening edition <laughs> i didn't really get much done so what did i get done well this evening as you may remember in a live a few weeks ago i did some coptic stitch pointing and i made my book for 2020 this is just the planner section and i wanted to make it big enough to fit the whole year in and i worked out how many sheets of paper i would need and folded it all counted and counted. i literally spent like two days folding paper and counting and all of this lot until i had it all down and then during the live i did coptic stitch binding i, I had sea lemons video playing on my phone and i did it here in front of you all and it looked okay but i didn't like it i don't know whether i i did some something wrong excuse me i've got hiccups whether i did something wrong or what but i didn't like the gaps in between the signatures so i hummed and hard about what shall i do and in the end i decided you know what if i don't like it i don't like it so you know i'm gonna make another one of these okay this was a uh what i've referred to as a mega insert um i got the idea from art journal girl um her channel is currently private she took a social media break um i'm hoping she'll reopen her youtube soon and start making videos again but she is back on instagram which is awesome that's art.journal.girl and um i watched her video on how to make a mega insert and she did it with i believe it's 45 sheets of paper well, I would like to introduce you to the super mega insert. Get a load of that bad baby. This is 60 sheets of Tomo River paper total. 60 sheets folded, so it's 120 pages. 
I spent the evening making it, sewing it. Um, I've stuck a little bit of washi on the spine just to help hold the the sewing in place. It's not bad, I'm quite pleased with it actually. That's the very, very middle. That was the other issue was how was I gonna put a Coptic stitch bound thing in here? I just couldn't see how to do it. It had an even number of inserts, so it's not like I could even put the band through the middle of an insert because it would have just been off and that would have bugged me. So that's my first gap. There is a gap and I'm not 100% happy with that gap, but I realized what it was that I was doing wrong as I was doing it. And my second gap is nowhere near as big. There is a little bit of a gap, but you know what? I'm, I'm still quite pleased with it. So yeah, this should, she says, hold my planner section, like this book is just planner. Okay, so that's my trackers and my weeklies and my monthly logs all in here. Now, the way I plan to do it, you might remember that book that I made ages ago. And you'll be saying, well, what about that book, Sam? What about that book? This is my collections book and my future log. So in here, I'm going to write my 2020 resolutions, films that I watch. So this is new films, not just any old film, but new films. This has been my year in pictures. Okay, I've got a blank sheet that I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with. I might keep it for notes or something. This is going to be my gift ideas. So birthdays, Christmas, you know, anything like that. Babies, weddings, funerals, you know, whatever. £20 a square. And what I've done is I've calculated every time I have money come into the house, um, regardless of whether it's a benefit or rent or whatever, my personal fund, <laughs> um, I'm going to try and put £20 away. And if I can do that by the end of the month, I should have about, uh, end of the year rather, I should have about a thousand pounds. And then my future log starts. So why not stick it all in there, you might say, in the in the super mega insert? Well, basically it comes down to, I don't wanna to have to count, in case I decide to add a page in or take, I've given myself some spare pages, but if I decide to not use one of them throughout the month, I don't wanna have it sitting in the middle of my book so i am gonna have this as my future log okay I've, I've filled it all in i've literally just got to give them all a title it's up there in pencil in the corner um and then i will have this at the front of my of my book so this will migrate to the front this will then go in the middle and then i may have a junk section after it or i may bring the chunk journal out and run that side by side because this is quite chunky as it is and if you imagine you know this is a full signature going on here hang on yeah it might work we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to have a play and an experiment and see how it goes but that's what 2020 is looking like i love how this has turned out it's not perfect but then fuck it neither am i you know i think i've done a good job i've got to decorate it but i used a thing of purple foil on it Look at that, you see the shimmer? Isn't that beautiful? So I don't want to decorate it too much because I don't want to detract from it. And then I got another flowery washi just over to give the spine a bit of extra um, reinforcement because I've sewn, so I've got a little crease, I've sewn through the, through the, you know, the stitches are on the outside of, of the card of the spine. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this evening. And I'm quite pleased with how it's come out. It's quite tidy. It's, it's, you know, it's, yeah. It's not perfect, but you know what? I like it. I'm gutted though, because the paper that I did choose, which I did the Coptic stitch, but was this one, and I didn't have another sheet of this. So I was like, oh. So I was really like, a bit down on that, but never mind. So this is what I've got instead. I suppose I could have, maybe if I thought about it, done something with like a fabric cover maybe and sewn into that but you know that's that's fine i'll use these for something else so that's it that's what i am going to do so future log and um collections in there planner in the other bit and then the junk journal will just continue on so what else did i do today well i had a little bit of fun I had a little bit of a sort out. I found a stamp that I'd bought and I'd completely forgotten I'd bought and it's this one of these text stamps and it's a big one as well. So I was like, oh, ah, I'm going to play with that. And I pulled this journaling card out and um, I, 
fulfilled was it three things on on the on the ultimate journaling prompts let me just grab it for you Right, so, you know, you're all going to sit there, jun jun junk journalers are going to be sitting there going, really Sam, really? But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm trying. So, I did mushrooms. Apples are a favourite in autumn. Describe your favourite apple dish and favourite things about autumn. So, I stamped a poppy because that is one of the things that is done in autumn here. Um, the 11th of the 11th is Remembrance Sunday for us here in the UK. And... Um, so I just it just it just seemed poignant so yes I put it on there with a bit of script I did the script in vintage photo and the poppy in candied apple both distress things by Dimmels and then I did a little bit of journaling like mushroom washi tape and I, I just said favorite things about autumn I love that it gets cooler in autumn fires go on the leaves start dropping and the colors are amazing you can eat more soup and cold weather food apple pie and custard it might be a bit of a cop out but it, it I was catching up and you know so that is my little bit for that oh and i also um put some tabs into this planner although they didn't color very well on this tab so i've got my label maker out and the batteries are dead and i don't have any more batteries so i need to go and get some batteries for that so uh right november I did not wear makeup, but I have now done the challenges for three days, haven't I? If not, I will do them now, no matter how much I hurt, and I do hurt quite a lot. I have not had any alcohol. I've had more than a can. I fancied a little bit with my dinner. I have not had chips. I haven't crafted today. I need to do an about today. Go do that in a sec. I didn't go out in the garden. Right. Great, that looks much better all of a sudden. <laughs> so, did I do an about? This is what I'm like, I can't remember. I didn't do one yesterday. I didn't do one Monday. Hmm. I'm going to do one. Yes, I know in insert I actually think it looks quite cool like that <laughs> insert so <laughs> so let's jump back to there so I've done the word for today as well which is super awesome okay did the card this morning I didn't record my sleep this morning for some reason. I don't know why, but there you go. I just had a bleh. I get days like that. Fuck, I get whole years like that, really. This has been one of them. <laughs> it's been a shit fucking year. About half past one. Until about half past eight. There was a period of a week about then. Um, a little bit better than the night before. Lovely. Looks nice. Okay. Mm. I did not clean the bath. Well, not yet anyway. I was actually planning on having a bath and then cleaning it afterwards because Alex has now had a bath. Daryl's had a bath, and I'm the only one that's not had a bath today. Mm, tea. So my thinking is, is I could go and have a bath and then clean the bath, and it would be clean for at least 24 hours. <laughs> one can hope. 
So I might do that in a minute. I also need to put the bath mats in off because they're disgusting. Okay, so I posted the October square tracker today. Um, yes, I need to do my October flip through. Whether that's more of a YouTube than a than an Instagram, but that will do. Um, so today I collected the flashcards and I synced my planners this morning, didn't I? I have remade my 2020 book. Yes, I've made myself a little list of stuff I want to get done. I did not, however, do my spread for tomorrow. Uh, or for yeah well tomorrow next week you know so I'm gonna have to do this tomorrow I'll probably do it in the morning after I've dropped Daryl off at school because it'll be nice and quiet and it'll be just me because Alex will be in bed still he doesn't get up until quite late so I, I might actually get on with that tomorrow okay today we are all caught up now finally I've just got a journal so yeah really pleased with how this is coming out oh look we're getting to where i fucked up i have actually had a practice um and it all worked reasonably well actually so yes i'm gonna leave that there for for why the fuck not really yeah gosh this is getting chunky we're getting towards the end of it though I'll show them. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it there. And um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my look at my book. Pleased with this. It actually feels like a slim diary, you know? Like when you first get a loitrum in that and you hold it and you're like, oh, the possibilities. And it's a similar sort of paper in it, so, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this please feel free to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave us comments suggestions kisses all of that stuff down below because you know we love the lot if you click the book here this one here you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell that then appears down there somewhere you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for watching i really 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 do appreciate it i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day in whatever it is that you're choosing to do Take it easy, guys.